All right, so uh, I got everything finished up at the port. I got loaded. I'll take you out, walk around this thing. Somewhat, um, somewhat crazy, I would think that uh, that this morning, this morning I was in four, four and a half inches of snow, five inches of snow maybe, and today and right now at two o'clock in the afternoon, I'm walking around in short sleeves, and I'm only 200 miles away. Not even that, I don't think so. Anyways, here's our load right here. The Link Belt 245X4. They claim that this thing weighs 58,000 pounds. I'm uh, not so sure. I'm going to put it on the scale and see. I need to get a scale for the Ohio permit anyways. So I'm going to put it on the scale and see. But I uh, figured I'd take it around and show it to you. Show you securement on it. Tire's bulging a little. Let's check this tire. Hmm. Well, it's solid. I don't know. Check that too when I get to the truck stop for the scale. So here's what I did for securement on this thing. I put my uh, put two of my clevises in there. Those holes were too small for me to get my my chain hook through, so put a couple clevises on. I ran one chain X this way, one chain there X this way, and then I put one through both clevises and all the way across to the other side. I give me three chains on the back. We're signed and flagged flagged here going into Ohio so God knows we need to uh, need to have one on all four corners now in the back here this got a little tricky because it has this blade so it's kind of difficult to you can't really get to the where I put the d-rings on the other side on the back of this thing so what I did was I ended up hooking right here and I got super creative with some edge protection and came up over over the blade and down to the other side and I ended up having to edge protect here here and then this lip right here on the inside I had to get it protected as well so I did that on both sides chain hook chain that way and then hook chain came this way and then I got the one chain one required chain over the the uh, boom on this thing I ended up I ended up folding this boom down a little bit. As you can see the, where the bucket is normally on there. I ended up folding that thing down just because of this right here. Because I didn't want it. I didn't want it hitting back there. So I ended up rolling the, rolling the bucket down and then setting that down that way. And uh, hydraulics are brand new so I'm sure it's going to stay. So that should be that. Uh, we did put the uh, exhaust is facing backwards. You can see that up there. So I did put my uh, uh, I did put my turbo saver on there. I'll walk around, show you the other side. Not a whole lot. So, I mean, it was a little creative. That signs flags on. It was a, ooh, man, I'm glad I walked over here. The door's open. Uh, I was a little creative for securement uh, because of having the, the uh, blade back here and whatnot, so. I did the same thing on this side. Chain down here, got my chain tails all tied up. <clears throat> Flag on this side. Go ahead and get this door closed. If I can reach it, there we go. There, that would have been all bad. Okay, now this is this is why you walk around uh, before you take off. This is why you take a minute and walk around your unit, and make sure everything's okay. So, here's the other side flagged. Now, I wasn't. 
talking about positioning on this thing, I wasn't super crazy about where it's positioned. I was a little worried that I was gonna be overweight on my drive tires because of how it's positioned and, and the way the the way the arm comes down on that thing, it's so close to the back deck that I can't really move it back anymore without hitting that back deck. So it's as far back as it could possibly. This is actually one unit that I I considered for a minute spinning this thing around the other way and leaving the arm up front. I don't like doing it that way. I don't normally do it that way. Um, but this is one I considered. I considered doing it. But what I ended up doing was I got the machine on. I got it positioned as best as it could be without before I chained it down. And then I um, hooked back up. Got everything. Got all my uh, airlines hooked back up. Put pressure to the system. And I let my air build up. And then I checked my gauge to see where I was at. And then I checked my permits to see where I'm permitted for. And, and Michelle, whoo, my girl, my permit girl in office, she hit it hard on this one. Uh, we're probably fine because she went she went 23.5 on each one of my, uh, my drive tires. So according to my permit, I can have 47,000 on my, on my drive tires. So uh, I, I think we're good where we're at. My pressure gauge is at 80. Uh, so according to my gauge and according to the permit, I should be good. So I'm going to, uh, I'm going to get it scaled anyways and, and just to see what it's at and be 100% sure. Uh, but I think, we're <laughs> I think it's good. So uh, I'm going to get back on the road. I'm going to jump in here, get back on the road. Uh, try to get some miles on before it gets dark on me tonight. I'd like to be delivering this thing tomorrow morning in Richfield, Ohio. Picking up in Baltimore. Oh, obviously, you know I'm in Baltimore. Uh, picking up here in Baltimore. And it is uh, delivering in Richfield, Ohio. So I'd like to be as close to Richfield as I can tomorrow morning get this thing off. I got a couple local loads. That'll be interesting to see. A couple local loads that uh, my office booked. Some of our customers called and asked if we could do it. So that was a good thing. So I'm going to go take care of that tomorrow. This highway is more than blacktop. It's more than these white lines. It's more than just a living, y'all. It's my way of life Just like my dad before me I'm addicted to the road Another day, another town Another long hollow Slamming truck, stop coffee down Midnight, I'm Miami bound Forty tons of Pennsylvania steel Every day's different, that's what sets me free. Jamming gears, counting miles, crawling up these hills. I don't get tired of this grind, hell I guess I never will. Slamming truck, stop, cut me down, midnight I'm Miami bound. Forty tons of Pennsylvania steel. This sign for and I'm gonna get out of here. Stop coming down, midnight I'm my enemy bound. Forty 
Birds of peace.